Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GCP with Mahesh. Today we'll explore how to download a deployed Java code from an app engine using app CFG command. So let's see downloading your application in action. So this is my Java code written in Spring Boot deployed in app engine standard environment. So if I want to debug this application, the option is you can click on this tools, click on debug, which will take you to the screen where it will show you all the, the deployed code like YAML, the configuration, the code, the jars, everything it will show. But what if you want to download the code for some business requirement? What is the option? The option is you can run this app CFG command mentioning what is your project ID, what is the version, this should be matching the same version and a folder to in which the code has to be deployed or copied. So that is the command. And if you see, we are going to copy the or download the code into our app engine hyphen code, which is currently empty. Let's hit enter and the process should start. So it started downloading it. So this could be sometimes handy for a specific requirement. Maybe you want to create a same instance on premise or you want to debug so that in such case, downloading the application code could be really helpful. So the files are still getting downloaded. So let's wait for a minute or so to for this to be completed. Once it is completed, we'll go into that folder and see what are the folder structure. It should be exactly the same as what we saw in our debug screen, exactly the same. So let's wait for the download to complete. Download is completed. So now let's go into that folder and see the folder content. So you see all the stuffs exactly same as what we saw in our debug screen. So that's how one can use app CFG to download a deployed Java code from an app engine instance. Hope the video was helpful. Please let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video on a specific GCP concept. I'm happy to do that. Thanks for watching.